Hi, it's Lily. Welcome back to my channel, to my expat life here in Koh Samui, in the Gulf of Thailand. <laughs> Say hi, Watt. Say hi, Luke. <laughs> Guess what? In two days, we meet our new baby, our little baby boy. I give birth at Bangkok Hospital via C-section, and I'm gonna do another video about the birthing um, hospital, hospitals in Thailand here on the island. Today we are going to Mainam Walking Street and it's the first time it's opened since the virus so it should be fun. <laughs> So I think I have about 910 subscribers and I was hoping to have a thousand by the time I give birth and I give birth in two days. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Help me get to a thousand subscribers. It's like a, a little milestone in the YouTube world. And I've had just a little bit of anxiety, but not too bad. I think it's just normal to have anxiety over your impending birth. I just wanna be a coconut, coconut. I love the coconut. Be a so I mostly do vlogs on this channel, or I have in the past, but I'm gonna branch out and do some sit-down videos about the process of opening a restaurant, uh, about opening a clothing shop, about being married to a Thai man and living in Thailand as an expat. In Thailand, they like to put ice cream in hot dog buns or sandwich rolls. Only in Thailand. Let me see. Wow. And this is our restaurant, which is closed. And if you don't already know, if you don't already follow us, Watt and I own this restaurant. We've owned a business on Walking Street since, since how long? Since 2014. I first came to Koh Samoy 2013. I walked down the beach. Within like the first hour, I walked into a beach bar and I met Watt. We fell in love. We got married. We had a baby. We're having a second baby. And I knew that I wanted to be on Walking Street to do business. So Watt and I found this building. We renovated it and we first turned it into a clothing shop slash yoga studio. I taught yoga upstairs. And then I decided, well, long story, to make a long story short, I, we turned it into a restaurant. I stopped teaching yoga. I sent all the clothes to my mom because my mom and I started a the clothing company together. She sold it, sells clothes in the U.S. And we've had this restaurant. It's been closed because of the coronavirus. It used to be called Prava, but now it's called Lilikoy because I rebranded it. And we hope to be open in a couple of months, or at least by December, by the time busy season starts, if there is a busy season. And it's going to be focused on Mexican food with a little Cajun twists on some things and a little bit of Thai food. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is my bomb. If you're interested in seeing it. 
I decided to get a massage, my last massage pregnant, and tomorrow night we check in to Bangkok Hospital, and then it's the next morning that I get the C-section, and then I'll be there for three nights, and I hope to be vlogging about it, let's see, to share with you guys the experience of giving birth in Thailand. Getting this massage, and the massage lady showed me this. It's insects. What is it? กระดิ่งเงินกระดิ่งทองกระดิ่งเงินกระดิ่งเป็นสัตว์น้ำโชคสมชายเปิดมอสเกนไหมไม่โอเคดอนท์อีทนัทโนเซมเซมกับไข่
watch, subscribe, hit the like button, and comment.